Hello and welcome to today's Delta Credit Tip. So today this episode is for the little ones. We're going to talk about talking about credit with kids, right? How do we teach our kids about credit before they get out there on their own and have to come back and ask us for money? Well, stay tuned. We're going to tell you some tips on how to teach your kids about credit right here on today's Delta Credit Tip. Hello and welcome back to today's Delta Credit Tip. So come on all the kids, gather around, we're going to talk today about credit. And this is something very important, right? They're not going to be teaching about credit and budgeting and money to our kids in high school, right? So when they go off to college or they go off to start their lives on their own, 9 out of 10 kids are going to be ill prepared to manage their money. So this is a very important topic, and so hopefully by the end of this video, we're going to have some dialogue, we're going to have some tips and uh, uh, best measures that you can use to teach your kids about credit, and money, and management, so that when they get older, they're not still tapping into our wallet. And if the information is helpful, come on, give us that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell, because every Thursday, at least we try every Thursday, to come out with new information to help you and now your kids on making a choice to make a change here with Delta, okay? So the first thing about credit that I wanna talk about, as you hear in almost all of our videos, is that your credit is not a score, it's a behavior that leads to the score. I'm, I'm getting kinda of redundant here when I say this if you've been watching the other videos and I apologize, but it's super important, right? So when you're talking to your kids about credit, we gotta start with the basics which is money management. If they're managing their money right, they're probably gonna manage their credit right. At least they're gonna have the capacity to do that if they're managing their money right, and there wouldn't be any excuse other than, I don't know, which is their excuse that I get all the time. Why did you do that? I don't know. Well, I can't get past that, but I can get past the inability to make sure that they're managing their credit and it's through education. So the first thing we wanna talk about again is the budget. And that's super important. But for a child to have a budget, what do they need? Income. And that's why an allowance is super, super important, right? For all of our clients, there are three financial uh, categories that have to be in the budget. Savings, allowance, and redirect, okay? Now, if you wanna know all that stuff, just work with our services and you'll learn all the rest of that stuff. But today, we're going to simply be talking about managing that money, uh, or at least we're going to start off by talking about managing the money with your child. So if you're going to teach credit to a child and we're going to teach budgeting, they need to have an allowance so that now they've got something coming in, okay, that they need to manage, right? So the next question becomes, well, how are they going to earn it? Not a big fan of just giving money away because they live there, right? They can do chores because they live there, but they don't necessarily need money because they live there. They need to probably do something a little bit above and beyond, right, to get this income. So if you've got a family business, that's a great place to start, right? If you don't have that family business, then creating a reason for them to earn income is a great idea. Now. One of the things that I had did with my children is that they prepared me for shopping, right? Children eat a lot of food. And so I wanted them to help me curb my cost of food. So we would say, okay, you're gonna prep our grocery shopping for Saturday. I need you to cut the coupons. I need you to find the BOGO sales. I need you to go from store to store, add to add, coupon to coupon, and make this happen for us. And what I did is I paid them a percentage of what I saved. They're saving me money, they're making themselves money, and on top of that, they're learning how to shop, right? They're calculating how much stuff costs per pound to make sure they get the right money. Because you know, once they start earning money doing this, that's a big motivator. Right? So now they got the buy-in, they're willing to do it, they're saving you money, they're buying the foods that they want to eat, right? and they're making themselves some money. But on payday, that's when the credit restoration or the credit building begins. Now remember, 
credit is in the score, it's a behavior, right? So when they get that money from you, the first thing they need to do is to figure out, well, where am I going to deposit it, right? Get them in the habit of taking that money to the bank. They're going to love it. Trust me. So take them to the bank, let them deposit their money. But they also need to take a certain portion of that money out and put it in savings. So every time they get paid, they take some money out and save. They can do whatever they want with the rest. That's the first lesson, teaching them to always put money back. Every time they get paid, they pay themselves, right? Something for the future, okay? That is absolutely, positively critical. And if they can do that once they earn their money, now you're doubling up on the lesson, right? First, you're teaching them a skill set that's going to carry them further by making whatever method that you put together for them to earn their money is something that they're learning. And then on top of that, they're practicing it by managing their money. Now, when they're in the store or they've got that big event coming up and they want to do something and they come to you for money, all you got to do is say, well, what are you asking me for? You got your own money, right? But if you don't have enough, well, now let's talk about how you can borrow the money, right? And this is a great opportunity to say, okay, you're going to have to do this, 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 and this to earn the money, but now you want an advance. How much is that going to cost you in interest, right? So now there's another coaching opportunity, but without that whole allowance piece in place, all this is in the window. Okay. Now there may not be little purchases that they want, right? But the second thing that you really want to do other than in introducing a budgeting requiring environment where there's an allowance and a job, right? You're going to want to, um, talk about topics that are going to be relevant to them. You want to start teaching them well, how do you buy a car? Because they want a car. How do you get financial aid? And that whole process of tax returns and bank statements and income and credit scores, you want to take them through that whole process that you have to go through as a parent to help them through that FAFSA application. Okay, or if they want to buy a car, they don't necessarily have to go and get the car, but you can still walk them through everything that they're going to need to get that car, how they're going to qualify, how do they get their credit score. So make sure that if you're going to start coaching them through different types of lending and purchasing, you can do mock situations all day long or do the real thing. You may find, they may find, figure out a way to finance a car. Now you ain't got to drive them all over the place, all over town like Ms. Daisy. Right. So use an opportunity with, uh, with topics that are pertinent to them and their life cycle to teach them about the lending process. Right. Because they're going to go through it one way or the other, um, whether you teach them or not. Now, one of the best ways to teach children about uh, good behaviors and bad behaviors with credit is our next idea, which is simply telling them both the mistakes that you've made and the good decisions that you've made that has helped you along the way. Share that with them. And that's really weird for parents sometimes because we don't want to show weakness, right? We want to be the, you know, pinnacle of the ideal self for our kids. But the truth of the matter is we're not. We're human just like them and we're human just like everybody else. We've made mistakes along the way. Show them those mistakes. We've also done some good things. Show them those good things, right? So that they can learn from your mistakes and from your good behavior. But you gotta be willing to show them along the way. Now, food for thought. You want to coach them through this process. You don't want to preach your way through this process. Remember, teenagers love autonomy. They are trying to figure out how to do things on their own. They don't want your advice half the time, but you got to figure out a way on how to give it to them. That's why we want to focus on something that's going to be pertinent to them, something that they have an interest in and give them a little bit of autonomy to 
to do the tasks that are going to get that income for themselves. Okay? But we can't preach because they're going to shut you out. All right? So just coach them through that process. Uh, give them some of the best practices that you think um, uh, will be in their best interest. But more importantly, them, you just got to simply coach them through this process. Show them what they... Uh, what you've been through, show them the kinds of paperwork they need to do. And if you don't understand it yourself, call us. Call us. We'll be more than happy to do this for you. Go to your bank. Talk to a personal banker. They will be more than happy to show your child some of the ins and outs of money. I am sure of it. And if they're not, we are. Okay? So go through the whole motion with your kids. Again, first start with the budget, right? And then Figure out how you're going to incorporate a lesson in how they're going to earn that money or maybe simply help the family business out or whatever method you want to figure out on how they're going to earn some money uh, is up to you. Um, uh, introduce them into a lending environment if, you, if, if it happens to come up, right? And hold fast to it, right? No, no letting them get away with stuff that banks won't let them get away with. Okay. Uh, also, uh, talk to them about your your issues, both good and bad, and talk about issues that are relevant to them, and use that to incorporate the coaching that you want. And again, make sure that it's coaching and not preaching. All right. So again, hope this information helps. If so, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, so that every Thursday when we come out with information to help you in your credit restoration process or your kids, you're right there getting it out of the gate. And in the meantime. Hopefully, this will help you and your kids make a choice and make a change.